Greetings to everyone. I am Friar Francis Victor Mateo, a conventual Franciscan in the Philippines. The admonition of St. Francis, our collection of his exhortation, his writing to the friars. This admonition indicates his deep understanding of human behavior as related to the practice of the faith. Therefore, we can say that although that admonition is originally for the friars, it is also valuable for any lay people who wishes to follow Jesus in a sincere way. Today, we have the tenth admonition. To illustrate its meaning, I would like you to join me in remembering a story in the book of Genesis. It is the story about Adam and Eve hiding from the Lord and their responses to his questions. God said to Adam, Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit and I ate it. The Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman immediately said, It is the serpent. It deceives me, and I ate it. That story in the observation of St. Francis points to our tendency. When we are at fault, we put our blame on others or are in our fallen nature. Some culture would say, I am but a man, I am weak, or else I am not to blame, it is others, it is he, it is she. St. Francis points to the fact that we should not do this because this is not according to our good nature. Created in the image and likeness of God, our very core is naturally good. Therefore, it is natural for us to abhor sin. But the tendency to escape responsibility from it is not of God's. Therefore, St. Francis reminds us that it is within our power, that we have the capacity to fight against it. How? We have to remember, aside from being naturally good, our fallen nature, our sinful self, is already redeemed by Jesus Christ himself. This same Jesus Christ preached the gospel to his apostles, the gospel that we have, that the church taught us. This same Jesus Christ establishes the church and entrusted to her the sacraments so that we may be aided with blessing and grace so that we will be strong in our fight against the evil one. This church has in her Mary and the saints, our models in following Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Francis now encourages us to be strong. Let us be strong and take responsibility. Let us go beyond our sinful nature or our tendency to blame others, to put an accusing finger over the other and say, I am not to blame, it is he or she. Let us say, yes, I have sinned. I will do something about it. By the help of the Lord, I will do better. What and how should this be done? We have our basic spiritual means that we often forget. There is prayer, frequent examination of conscience, the reception of the sacraments, and charity. Prayer nourishes us. Examining our conscience made us aware of our good selves and the challenges that is before us. Receiving the sacrament, as I have said, would spiritually nourish us so that we may be stronger to fight against this tendency. We fail because we thought we can do it on our own. But the truth is we need God's help. And the sacrament is there. 
we have to do charity, express the good that is, is, is in us so that we may be rooted in this good nature that we are. Only when we do this can we fight against this tendency and take responsibility, thereby reclaiming our being sons and daughters of God in Jesus. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for one another. Let us pray for the grace to continue in the direction in which the Lord wants us to be, through the intercession of our Blessed Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us journey with Our Lady and the Church at prayer and imitate her example. Let us follow Jesus like her and the saints, so that their joy may be ours and their strength may be us. May God bless us all.